All right, if you saw my last video, then you learned how to analyze an arithmetic series. So we're going to do something similar here, except that our series is not arithmetic. If you look closely at this series, this is a geometric, a geometric sequence that we're adding up, the terms of which we're adding up. So this is called a geometric series. So again, that word sum means series. And this is going to be called a geometric series because these terms are coming from a geometric sequence. And I'm going to put these terms in a table so that we can analyze them clearly. And again, we're interested in finding the sum, so I'm going to add a new column, as I did last time. And I'm going to call this S of n. And I'll put a little sigma next to it just to remind you that the sigma notation implies that we're adding adding up the terms. So the sum of the first term, and that's just 16. The sum of the first two would be 24. The sum of the first three would be um, 28. And so next to them, again, I'm just going to put uh, this 24 is really coming from the 16 plus the 8. This 28 is coming from the 16 plus the 8 plus the 4. We'll do one more. If you add the next term, you get 30. And that is 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. And so we're asked to find the sum of the first 20 terms next. But like we did last time, we're going to do something more powerful. We're going to come up with the sum of the first n terms. So we're going to come up with a formula first, and then we're just going to plug 20 into that formula. So I'm going to leave a box here, a box here. We're going to do that first. Um, so first, actually, we're going to take uh, take the second column and see if we can come up with a closed form for the sequence. And so if you haven't seen my geometric sequence video, that would be a good thing to look at. But um, what you'll notice is that you go down the table, you're timesing by a half. So that suggests that this 16 is really like 16 times a half, zero times. Sorry, that's very sloppy. This is 16 times a half. Dear, it's, it's just way too small. This is 16 times a half, one time. This 4 is 16 times a half, two times. That's 16 times a half, three times. And so that suggests that, well, the 20th term is going to be 16 times a half, 20, uh, nope, not 20 times. Let's see. When I plug in 4, it's 16 times a half, three times. When I plug in 3, it's 16 times a half, twice. So this is going to be 16 times a half, 19 times for the 20th term. And for the nth term, it's 16 times a half to the n minus 1. I'm still not happy with how that was written. 16 times 1 half to the n minus 1. So now we have the closed form rule for our geometric sequence. And so now we can apply Euclid's method to actually come up with that, which is what we're interested in. That will be the sum of the first n terms. So if you recall, Euclid's method said, now I'm going to abandon the s of n, I'm just going to use s. s equaled, I'm going to write out my terms, in not in the way they look above, but uh, in the way they appear if we sort of follow the pattern that led us to our closed form. 16 times a half to the 0 plus 16 times 1 half to the 1, etc., all the way up to the last term, 16 times 1 half to the n minus 1. And so if you recall, the way Euclid's method worked was we're going to multiply s uh, this equation by a half, right? Not by 16, that's a common mistake to think that you multiply by 16. You multiply by the the, the, the multiplier, by the, the common ratio, which in this case is 1 half. And so that has the effect of bumping everything up. So our first term here would be 16 times 1 half to the 1 
plus 16 times 1 half to the 2, etc. Your last two terms would be 16 times 1 half to the n minus 1 plus 16 times 1 half to the n. And now we subtract. So when you subtract, this is 1 minus a half s. Well, that's just 1 half, half s. 16 to the 1 half, 16 times 1 half to the 0 is just 16, minusing 0 here. It's just a 16, and then everything else cancels, except you have 0 minus 16 times 1 half to the n. All right, and so now if we multiply both sides by 2, we get s equals 2 times 16 minus 16 times 1 half to the n. And so since it's now a function of n, I'm going to put s of n. And that's precisely what we wanted over here. So I'm going to put my formula, which is 2 times 16 minus 16 times one half to the n. And this is exactly what we wanted because now I've got a, f a closed form representation of the sum of the first n terms of this geometric sequence. Um, so we wanted to figure out the sum of the first 20 terms so s of 20 is simply a matter of plugging in. 2 times 16 minus 16 times a half to the 20 so we'll put that in the calculator here, and when you do that, so 2 times 16 minus 16 times 1 half to the 20, that gives me 31 point nine 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 six nine four eight and so that is gonna go right here that is the sum of the first 20 terms so we just finished analyzing a geometric series um, and again, if you've seen my previous videos in this section, I'm hoping you can find some of the logic behind uh, why I've ordered things the way I did. Why Euclid's method came first, because I want you to use it right here at this step. And so in general, we, came, we were uh, analyzing a geometric series, so on the next page I'll formalize that. Okay, so a geometric series is one in which we are summing up the terms of a geometric sequence. So lowercase g means that's the sequence. Oops, that's not a n, that's a k. Now geometric sequences have more interesting properties in some sense than arithmetic ones, and those properties we will look at uh, in the next video.